This is The Jeopardy. Uh, talking trash, here is your host, Adam Trebek. Hello, welcome to Superbot Super Jeopardy today, um, where your, your categories are the solution, or excuse me, the problem, the solution, and the invention. Zeke? No, Xander, let's start with you. Um, Paper napkins and cardboard coffee sleeves. Mm. Xander. What part, was, what part of restaurant trash is not recyclable? Correct. The answer was, what part of restaurant trash is not recyclable? Xander, again. Four for 400. They are soiled materials. Mm. Great. Why can't we recycle paper napkin and cardboard coffee sleeves? Correct. The answer was, why can't we recycle paper napkins and cardboard coffee sleeves? Go again. May I please have a problem for 600? Of course. 53. million tons per year. Mm. How much non-recyclable paper napkins and cardboard coffee sleeves do we produce in the U.S. Correct. The answer was, how much non-recyclable paper napkins and cardboard coffee sleeves do we produce in the U.S.A.? That is the end of round one of Jeopardy. Before we start round two, I'd like to introduce some of our contestants today. First of which, one of the best oceanographers from Honolulu, Hawaii. First contestant, Xander. Aloha. Second, top, graduate, graduating top in his class in mechanics in Austin, Texas. Our second contestant, Braden. Howdy, partners. And finally, also from Texas, Dallas, that is. Top researcher of trash anywhere around the world. Our third contestant, Zeke. Yeehaw. All right, let's go ahead and start uh, part two. Oh. We're having some technical difficulties. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start part two while we're fixing that. Is that here? Um, start. Solution for 200. Disintegration in the abyss of the ocean. Correct. The answer was, what process removes non-recyclable paper napkins and cardboard coffee sleeves without filling landfills? Go again. Solution for 400. Natural gases. <clears throat> Great. What is the end result of paper disintegration by water? Correct. The answer was, what is the end result of paper disintegration by water? Go again. Um, solution for 600, please. Extreme pressure. E how does paper napkins and cardboard coffee sleeves disintegrate into natural gases by using water? Correct. The answer was, how does paper napkins and cardboard coffee sleeves um, <coughs> disintegrate into natural gases by using water? And that is the end of round two of our Jeopardy. Time to start our final round, the invention. Xander, uh, let's start with you. A high-pressure, fish-like remote control submarine Correct. The answer was, how will non-recycled paper napkins and cardboard coffee sleeves get into the abyss? Go again. Air pressure pushes the non-recycled paper napkins and cardboard coffee sleeves out into the abyss. Great. How does it work? Correct. The answer was, how does it work? Go again. Invention for 600, please. Non-recyclable aquatic paper disintegration can. What is the name of the Superbot's invention? Correct. The answer was, what is the name of the Superbot's invention? That is all for Jeopardy today. Thank you for being our studio audience for Superbot Jeopardy today. Um, we invite you to take an online survey. Uh, or my assistant here is going to bring you some cards with the website. And while you're there, fill in an application so you could be the next contestant on Superbot Jeopardy. Thank you and have a good night.